Hey guys, it's Annette. So today we're going to be organizing my stamping cart. First, I just wanted to explain, this is not the Hudson cart. This is a cart off of Amazon. And my cart, the depth of my cart is like 10 and a half inches or less. So it was really hard to try to find dividers. I did want the dividers that, um, you know, they kind of like moved back and forth like this, but I couldn't get those. So I went ahead and went with the dividers that you could basically cut to the size that you wanted to. They first originally look like this and then you just break them you know, down to the size that you want. Um, it says you can cut them, but really breaking works just fine. So, and they're white and they're fine and they go with the cart. And then I did need to get um, like a, a shelf liner or a drawer liner because the plates slide in the cart. And so I needed something that was um, like um, anti-slip proof. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start cutting this down to size the inside of the carts and then we're going to just start working on these. Okay, so I was going to use these. Um, I was cutting the clear acrylic sheets, but I am not happy with the way that it keeps splitting. So what I've decided to do is, is I'm going to use these and just cut them down to this and then put my um, stickers on top of this and then it'll sit inside of the cart like this. And so I think I would like that better. I just don't like the sharp edges and I don't like the split look. So I think this will be, um, I think this will work out good. I like this. this. This doesn't bother me. The other way, the other way was bothering me. So we're gonna do this. Okay, so now I'm just going to start on the second row down. I wanna leave room to grow. I was gonna go so many different categories back, but I like to see my tags in the front instead of having to hunt for them in um, behind 
the stamping plate because also these go underneath my desk that's over here and I can't really go any higher than this so my my labels would be covered up so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep it like this um, in the future I might put a few more in the back just to kind of level out the weight as a matter of fact I think I am gonna go ahead and do that because I did notice that it was like front um, the weight was more in the front than kind of equaled out so it was wanting to kind of tip forward so I will go ahead and I will go ahead and do that so we're starting on the second shelf down now so this is two full-size pieces and then they have little numbers on them I don't know if you can see it but that says not going to focus this says 21 so it's from 1 to 21 on this one the full size is 1 to 27 but you can't see it it's really it's even really hard to see in person so let alone trying to get the the camera to focus on it it's just it's just not going to happen but anyway so I know that I wanted to go to 21 so then I'm just going to go ahead we're going to do one two three four so I'm just gonna line it up and then you just break it and I will just go ahead and I will just trim it off just like that so it's a nice clean edge. So we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make two more of these and then we'll go ahead and we'll get started on the second drawer. So this is the way that the stamping cards turned out. Um, I have a majority of my plates put up that I have already hauled, but I do have a lot more plates that I need to do hauls on. So I left myself room to grow in each category. So I'll just show you really quick. So I ended up using the little dividers for name cards because I didn't like the way that the acrylic uh, clear plastic was splitting so I wasn't too happy with that but just to give you guys an example this is what I have going on down there and then down there I have the moon space and stuff like that then I still move have room to grow down there for more categories and then over here I have like Halloween fall Christmas New Year's Valentine's Easter and then I just have the other holidays and then I have an extra shelf down there. So here's the cards back underneath the desk when they normally belong. Right next to the foils that I just got done organizing. So anyways, and there's going to be a video on that. I'm not sure if the foils are going to come out before the stamping plates. Probably stamping plates first and then the foils. So look forward to the foil video coming out. But um, basically, so yeah, so that's the way that it looks. I'm totally happy with it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and have a wonderful day.